Before I start explaining Kubernetes in detail, let's see how to create a simple application, package it into a container image, and run it in our computer. First, you will need to install Docker in your computer. After completing the installation, you can use the Docker client executable to run Docker commands. You can try pulling and running an existing image from Docker Hub. Docker Hub is the public Docker registry which contains ready-to-use container images for many well-known software packages. Before continuing, let me explain an interesting thing regarding using Docker on macOS or Windows. As I explained in the previous episode of this tutorial, Docker containers need a Linux kernel to run. So, if you are using a macOS or a Windows operating system, then Docker will set up a virtual machine running a Linux kernel and a Docker daemon inside. In this first example, we will try to run an image that simply prints a text on the screen. In Docker Hub, which is the public image registry, you can find the image Hello World. To run this image, you don't need to download or install anything. Use the docker run command and specify what image to download and run. The important thing here is that the app was executed inside the container, completely isolated from all the other processes running on your computer. Now let me explain you what happened when performed the docker run command. First, Docker checked to see if the Hello World image was already present on your local computer. If it wasn't, then Docker pulled it from the Docker Hub registry at docker.io. After the image was downloaded to your computer, Docker created a container from that image and ran the app inside it. The app printed the text to the standard output and then the process terminated and the container stopped. Now we will create an image with a very simple demo application, package it into it. The application will accept HTTP requests and respond with the host name of the machine it's running in. You will see that an application running inside a container sees its own host name and not the host name of the host machine, even though it's running on the host like any other process. To package an application into an image, you first need to create a file called Dockerfile, which will contain a list of instructions that Docker will perform when building the image. The from line defines the container-based image you will use as a starting point. As we want to run a demo application, we will use a demo-based image 
that contains a built-in version of the Denor runtime. In the second line, we are adding the app.ts file from our local folder into the root folder in the image. In the third line, we are defining the command that should be executed when Docker runs the image in a new container. Now that we have the docker file and the app.ts files, we have everything needed to build the application image. We can build the image with the command docker build. With that command, we are telling docker to build an image called sample application, based on the contents of the current folder. Docker will look for the Docker file in the folder and build the image according to the instructions in the file. When the build process completes, we have a new image stored locally. We can see it by telling Docker to list all locally stored images with the command Docker images. Now we will run the image created with the command Docker run. This tells Docker to run a new container called sample application container from the sample application image. Port 8080 on the local computer will be mapped to port 8080 inside the container. The D flag means that the container will run in the background. Now we will try to access the application opening the address localhost at port 8080 in the web browser. This is the response from the application running inside the container isolated from everything else. We can list all the running containers with the command docker ps. The image we have built so far is only available in our local computer. To allow run the image on any other computer, we need to push the image to an external image registry like Docker Hub. First, we need to register at hub.docker.com and create our Docker Hub ID. I will use my own ID that is Albiasoft. After that, we need to retag the image according to the docker hub rules with the command docker tag. Before we can push the image to Docker Hub, we need to log in under our user ID with the command docker login. Once we are logged in, we can finally push the image to Docker Hub with the command docker push.
After the push to Docker Hub is complete, the image will be available to everyone. Now we can run the image on any other computer with the command docker run, as I explained it before. To truly remove a container, we need to remove it with the command docker rm. Finally, I will show you how we can easily run our application in a different computer running, for example, a Windows 7 operating system. I hope you found this second chapter really useful. I see you in the next chapter.